All right, well, of course, that's uh, Peter Navarro. Uh, Stephen, let me ask you this question. What would a Biden presidency do for this economy? Well, I think this is about as clear a choice as you can get. I mean, Joe Biden's economic plan, I think, would be catastrophic. I mean, the first thing that he would do is repeal most of our tax cut, uh, Ashley. And as you know, I work with Larry Kudlow and mm. uh, then candidate uh, Trump to put that together. You know, remember, uh, people forget three months ago, three or four months ago, we had the best economy in 30, 40 years. And by the way, do you know, Ashley, what demographic group had the best economic advance from 2017 to 2020? You tell me. Yeah. Black Americans. Black Americans. They had... Is that had right? Lowest, yes, we had the lowest black poverty rate in something like 30 years. We had the lowest black unemployment mm. rate in 50 years. We had big wage gains for blacks before coronavirus hit. So, I mean, Trump has to basically go to minorities and say, look, look what I look at the advances that you saw, not just blacks, Hispanics did very well, too. That has to be the reelection theme. Now, you know, Biden is basically saying he wants to raise payroll tax, he wants to raise the income tax, he wants to raise the business uh, corporate tax. By the way, how are you going to get money coming back into the United States? How are we going to compete with China if mm. we're raising taxes on our mm. own businesses? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, all very good. Uh, very good. quickly, Stephen, second wave, White House is prepared for that? You mean a second wave of the virus? Yes. Well, look, I mean, this is the other big media story that has been completely wrong. Our death rates continue to fall from mm -hmm. coronavirus. Uh, you know, you're seeing more, obviously everyone knows this by now, except the media, you're seeing more cases because you're doing more testing. And it is true, more people are testing positive, but they're younger people who are not vulnerable to getting sick or certainly right. not dying from the disease. So I, I think this is a manufactured story by the media. It's part of Operation Chaos, which is the left's whole uh, strat campaign strategy to win is to create a sense of chaos and a se sense of dread, even if the data don't confirm it. Operation Chaos. I'm going to remember that. Stephen Moore, thank you so much as always. Appreciate your time this morning.